Hey guys, turn to Jesus Christ, repent of your sin and follow Jesus. Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can change your life. But people got to turn, you know, submit. Submit their life to Jesus. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. He can set you free. You know, Jesus said this, unless you repent, you'll perish. I don't want people to perish. You know, I want you to be born again. Have you been born again? The Son of God died on the cross for you to set you free. Uh, have you been set free? Uh, if you're a sinner today, you need to still need to be set free. You know, if you're committing sin today, you still need to repent. You know what? I see a lot of sin here in St. Louis. So much sin. A lot of sin. I think I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna change the name of this city to Sinner Lewis. Sinner Lewis. Yeah, too much sin. And, no, Sinner Lewis. You know. People need to come out of sin. They need to repent. Turn from sin. Put your faith in Christ. You know, don't be a sinner. Be a winner. Turn from sin. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said this. He said, unless you repent, you'll perish. That's Luke 13, 3. I don't want people to perish. I want people to have the mercy of God. I want people to have the grace of God. Be set free by the cross. Have you been set free? You can die with Christ on the cross. That's how you're set free. Jesus Christ defeated sin on the cross. And if you die with him, sin can be broken in your life. You can die to sin and be born again. Be resurrected through the cross. Have you died with Christ on the cross and have you been resurrected through the resurrection? Uh, people can be born again through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Be set free. Your old man dies, the new man comes. That's how it works. You know, the Bible says, I've been crucified with Christ, yet I live. But the life that I now live, I live by faith in the Son of God, who gave himself for me, he died for me, and he died for you as well. Oh, uh, but you got to turn, you got to repent. You know, give up, give up the old lifestyle, give up the way of, the old way of life and be set free. You know, it says that those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Have you crucified your flesh with its passions and desires? Or are you still living in drunkenness? Still living in drug using? Still living in fornication? Still living for the world? Still giving in to temptation? Oh uh, no, we need to resist temptation. Resist it all. The Bible says no temptation has overtaken you except which is common to man. But God is faithful and will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you're able. But with the temptation will provide a way of escape. Oh, uh, you can take that way of escape every single time you're tempted. You don't have to give in to the devil. No. You can, you can forsake your sin. You don't have to hate Jesus. You can love Jesus. You can love God. God the Father and Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, there's many people today that hate Jesus. Many people that, that, don't, that don't honor, don't worship the Son of God. The Bible says this. Let us not worship in, in tongue or in word, but let us worship in deed and in truth. Many people are not worshiping God by their deeds. You know, are you worshiping God by your deeds, by what you do in life? Or are you not worshiping by your deeds? Many people, they're, they're living in sin today. You know, they care more about this world. They care more about, uh, you know, sin than Jesus. How about you? Are you living for this world? Are you living for the pleasures of, fle of the flesh? Are you falling into temptation every single time you're tempted? There's many people that not resisting temptation, not following Jesus today. Oh, but I'd like to encourage you, you know. I'd like to encourage you to follow Jesus. You know, don't be ashamed of Jesus. Don't be ashamed of the cross of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. The cross and the resurrection, the gospel, is the power of God unto salvation. You know, do you have the power of God in your life? Have you been crucified with Christ? Have you been born again? Many people have not been born again. They go to church, they say, yes, I believe in Jesus, but they haven't been born again. They haven't died to their old way of life. They haven't given it all up for Jesus. But that's what it takes. Jesus said, if anyone wants to come after me, let him deny himself. Take up his cross and follow me. 
Have you denied yourself, taken up your cross, and followed Jesus? That's the way to do it. That's the way to be born again. God bless you. See, Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me, Jesus said. Jesus is the way. Hallelujah. He can set you free. But see, most people, the majority of people, are on the broad path that leads to destruction. Oh, get off the broad path today. You know, get off the broad path. Get on the narrow path that leads to life. It's like we're standing at an intersection right now. An intersection between two roads. The road of the broad path and the road of the narrow way. And I'm yelling out to people. The Bible says that wisdom cries out at the crossroads. You know, there's a crossroads that we're at right now. The crossroads between the broad path and the narrow way. If you heed these words, if you listen to my words, if you've got ears to hear, you can get off the broad path and get on the narrow way. Change your direction. Die with Christ. Be resurrected with Christ. Become a new creature in Jesus. Become a new creation in Jesus. Jesus Christ can set you free. Jesus Christ can change your life. Oh, but people need to turn. People need to get on the ark. You know Noah's ark? Have you heard the story of Noah's ark? How people got on the boat to escape judgment. Oh, that's coming again. Judgment day is coming again, and people need to get on. People need to get on the boat. Oh, you need. Oh yeah, the boat's Jesus. You know, you need to be on Jesus. You know, have you have you gone the way of the devil? How are you listening to the devil? Are you? Oh, well, you need to turn. You need to turn. You need to repent. Repent of your sin. Don't be a sinner today. Turn from sin. You know, here's science for you. Jesus Christ died on the cross and rose from the dead. How do I know? Because he lives in me. I got the Holy Spirit in me. How's that for some science? You know, some knowledge. That's some knowledge right there. The Bible says that all wisdom is in Christ. All knowledge is in Christ. If you're inside Christ, like people enter into the ark, then you can have all wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says this, by the, by the fear of the Lord, uh, it says that fear is the beginning of wisdom. You know? You, have the, you don't even have the beginning of wisdom if you don't fear God. You know, many people, they don't fear God. They live on in sin. Oh, you need to fear God. You know why? God is going to judge you for your sin. You're an idiot, dude. You know, God's going to God's going to judge you for every idle word. You know, every idle word that you say, God is going to judge you. And uh, if you don't repent, if you don't turn, God's going to throw you into hell. It's called a high school education, bro. I've got a college education. I have a 40-hour work week job, and I do this on my spare time. Well, then you're a fucking idiot. Because I live for Jesus. You know? What do you do on your spare time? Many people waste their their time. You know, they waste their time with, with the things of this world. I love you. I want you to be blessed. I want you to have good things. You know? I want you to I want you to be blessed. I don't curse you. I want you to have peace in your life. Lord, bless this man. Bless him. Give him, you know, give him good things. The Bible says that the rain comes on the just and the unjust. You know, I want people to be blessed. I want people to have Jesus. You know, that's the only way to have true blessing. Have fun. You gave us more. All right, God bless you guys. Yeah, I recognize you. See, so yeah, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ can set you free. He can change your life. Turn from sin today. Repent of your sin today. Be made free.